Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are in Diablo 2 with Melinda and she's already a, uh, a pretty big little girl, level 25, just arrived in Act 5 after a uh, reasonably easy fight with Diablo and everything is just uh, not looking as stupid as I thought it would with this build. So uh, we are progressing nicely and today we will take on the um, evil evil overseer and his uh, patriarchal uh, oppression of his minions and um, also free the barbarians, the poor beta barbarians that um, have been caught by the um, patriarchy and are being enslaved. With that being said, I have only one worry and that is these numbers down here. Uh, we need to improve those. And the easiest way to do so certainly is to get a few runes from Quarke. And uh, yeah, Ancient's Pledge. But for that, first of all, we need to find a shield with three sockets. One minor bad thing with that is that no light shield has uh, up to three sockets to my knowledge. At least not a normal. So we will lose a little bit of our run speed, but fortunately we did find these babies. Plus 40% faster run walk and we aren't really slow to begin with, so it's all good. Also I really would like to have a few better rings, because these are nice and all, but um, resistances anyone? Alright, so let's uh, armor up and give Kasim a bit more punch. Wow, 52 to 132, that's impressive. Um, one thing that comes to mind here is that in general the enemies have pretty high... Um, oh. Shit. <laughs> one thing I just noticed was that I um, had players 8 on because I was uh, trying a uh, successor stupid build, a potential one and see how that was going to go and for that I needed to uh, fast level a little bit in the early parts and uh, I still had Blaze 8 on here so that was like oh shit why are the enemies so tough or why why isn't the Diggler dealing the damage it should be and um, yeah that was quickly resolved. What I really wanted to say here though is that I'm uh, planning on just cleaning out this area because oh that kill enemies along the way in uh, to a large degree because they don't have too high a level and um, I think they are level 30? maybe 28? something like this? I, I would have to recheck that but um, we do need to level here uh, otherwise it will be really tough to get level Always nice is this boss group. They are very squishy. They are small little gremlins. And we can probably punch them in the face with a diggler. Ah, damn. Cold aura or what? No, is it an aura? No, it's not even an aura. He's just cold enchanted. Ah, slow. Stop wanking off there. Ah. Oh, there's more minions. Oh no! Now we are punching people! Uh, and die! <laughs> Fists of fury! Here we come! <laughs> I think my diggler broke. Oh damn, my poor little diggler. Huh. Gotta repair it. Ah, there we go. Much better. Also, I found this superior demon hide sash and I think what I'm going to do is to get to level 30 or something and then imbue this one because um, imbuing always takes your level into account. So, and I think it's level 30, level 32. Wow, we don't have much space, do we? Uh, lots of small shit gems in here though. Hmm. Um, yeah, well, level 30. I think level 32 somewhere is where some good modifiers unlock so uh, I want to get to there and then um, do the imbue quest or finish off the imbue quest because this one here is yeah it's kind of decent but if we can get something really nice that would be cool
All right, we are back in the fray. This enemy. Oh, oh wow, a full rune. That is a uh, pretty good find. Um, especially considering that we do have problems with uh, resistances. But um, I would have to check out if we can't make any any kind of cool things with now having an arm rune and a full rune. That is. That's some pretty good runes already. Yeah, this is all working pretty nice. Uh, just repositioning with a uh, teleport. And then these ledges and stuff don't really matter, do they? Uh, if you have enough mana. And we are at Shank's place. This is the final little um, little ledge he is residing on, right behind this one. So uh, yes, and there's the level up. Uh, very good. So we basically, from one clear, got one level up. That's that's not too bad. This this was wasn't taking too long. I mean, if I would play it uh, for you at one one x, then it certainly would be a long time. But no, it's that's all good. Uh, not quite as tedious as with uh, the penetrator, I have to say. So let's first weaken them a little bit, and now let's teleport up there. Hello, Mr. Shank. What are you doing? I need mana. Ah, you need mana once again. Okay, let's go up here and smash him in the face. Wow, that's a lag. Oh, a longsword. Is it Hell Plague? I f think it's called Hell, Pl Hell Plague. Is it that one? I don't know. It's uh, pretty much worthless anyway. So we have the Diggler, and the Diggler is best. And let's at least pick it up. I think would be a good idea. So we got this one. Plenty of healing potions here. Yeah? We were almost empty. I'm just running around here to check if there's a shrine nearby, which we could take every time we do a run. But no, it seems to be um, pretty much void of any of these possibilities. So let's take the waypoint and just kill Elrich, the rectifier. And from there, head back to town, I would say. Hello, Mr. Eldritch. How are you doing, good old friend? Hey, stop hitting me. Yeah, that's making very fast work of them. Oh, nice. All right, back to Horogoth, and there we go. Now we can add sockets to something. And, oh, that's actually a pretty good question. What should we add a socket to? Um, well, it would be, would be kind of a no-brainer if we had a Shire rune. Because then we would just diggle up the diggler and uh, make <laughs> make the dirk even stronger, but that's not something we have. So we might want to look into uh, going for a shield, where we try to get the maximum amount of sockets, and that is always guaranteed by that quest. So that's cool. Uh, otherwise, we could just put something into the circlet. Um. That might work. Would be uh, kind of overpowered if you could socket a socketed item. Oh yeah, yeah, it was Hell Plague. That's correct. And... Oh, it's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty good. The only problem it has is that... Conf uh, like, compared to what we are using, it has a pretty slow attack speed. Because this one is, I think, very fast to begin with, or at least very close to being very fast attack speed, and then it has plus 30. And the ignore target's defense is so valuable. Oh, we can't get rid of that. Um, this bow is not so good. So, yeah, plus two to fire skills. 
all kind of nice, but we don't need it. So, bye-bye, Mr. Hellplague. Uh, I'm not so sure about what we're going to do with the one extra skill point. Um, putting it into frozen armor at some point would be interesting. But I think we are still going with enchant. And maybe warmth? Which one is buffing things more now? So this one would give 9% bonus damage and 9% would be free basically. So as you can see, uh, free damage is basically the same thing as getting one extra level in enchant. So now, about now they are equal in strength. But I, I'll go with extended uh, time still. And for this here, mm, vitality. All right, all buffed and ready to go to the saving of the barbarians. And that's something we wanted to do. Should be reasonably easy. Meh, damn it, can't hit this little bastard. Ah, okay, first steps found and they are pointing to the west, so we are going... Is that west? Yeah, that's west. So we are continuing to go to the west, as that is the correct direction to go. Damn, they are so annoying with such a short weapon. I never realized that I prefer long-range weapons, long-range melee weapons. Now I remember why. Alright, this is the first group of barricades, so we have to search for the first group of barbarians. Alright, nope, nothing here. So they must be all in the second and third one. Uh, one of them at least has two camps. Oh, there we have a superior bone shield. I think it only can have two sockets maximum, so it's not really that useful for what we had in mind here with the socketing. Oh, an Ephraim. Um, Kind of useless, but in case we find some awesome, awesome armor, we can uh, then make another stealth armor. <laughs> this is so easy. So here, roam free, you beta cocks. Uh, cocks, not cocks. Well, you're cockheads as well, but um, no, I meant to say cocks, not cocks. Oh, jewel. And there's the second camp, yes. So we uh, do have two in the second row of barricades. And there's one more in the last row somewhere. Ah, here's the last group. Found them. I'm just running up here and... Oh. Uh, no, we're not going to do these. They have, have any... Any of you done these um, abyss pit thingies uh, for some kind of... Uh, what is it called? For some kind of grinding for equipment or so? Are these uh, areas actually useful for something? Do they have lots of bosses in them or so? Um, because that's that would be the only way I can see them being useful. And I mean in, in hell difficulty, obviously. So is, that, is any of that actually a uh, valid alternative to ancient way and uh, the ancient tunnels and what more the pits and so on yay we found uh, what is it Eisenhardt's case yes it is and it's still pretty shit but uh, we can take it along and sell it for money 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 if we have the room for it, that is. We won't be getting much for the splint mail, so I kind of ignore it. Cold damage. Do we have any cold damage? Cold damage is not really important for the damage itself, but for slowing the enemy. 
And I don't think I have any cold damage just yet. Nope, doesn't look like it. So yeah, let's take this one on board, even though it's pretty shit. Uh yeah, what are you gonna what are you going to do, right? What is this? Oh. Oh, then that, that isn't all too scrappy. Although it's still very bad. Uh, this amulet is kind of nice if we run into someone who has loads and loads of lightning damage. But this is something we want to fix with our shield anyway. So let's sell it. Alright, I think what we are going to do now is not start our runs for experience just yet. But instead continue to get to the next waypoint. And from there... We shall then uh, proceed to do a few runs and then in the next episode do another few runs and then continue on. I think that should give us enough experience overall to um, progress further and kill the Ancients and uh, defeat Bale ultimately. Ah yep, here is the boss group. And there was the boss group. A heavy crossbow, oh yes. Yeah, the cold damage we just got via the charm is very handy. As uh, even though, uh, ouch, even when an enemy is uh, awake and hitting me, if I focus it down, then um, he won't be getting in too many hits. Okay, this is also a running direction to this corner over here. And flame first, the dark. You have no chance against me. Ah, get your hate speech off of the area plateau. Oh, conviction aura. Let's hammer him. Ow, 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 no. Don't, ouch. Oh yeah, oh, they are of course doing a lot of fire damage. So that is kind of dangerous with the Conviction Aura on there. Yeah? Um, not good when stuff explodes next to you with a lot of fire damage. And there's the waypoint. Excellent. So let's just kill a few more until the uh, Experience Shrine wears off. And then restart the game to do a little farming run. Or Experience Run, that is. Maybe Trash Socket as well? He should be somewhere around here. In these parts of the land. Hello? Trash Socket, where are you? Ah, uh, where's Kasim? Here he is. He should be somewhere here. Evil Earn. Ah, there he is. Okay, cool. Ow! Damn it! Stop hurting me! There we go, level up. Oh, Kite Shield. They can have up to three sockets. Um, as that's not a light shield, but rather a medium shield. Nah, just two sockets on this one. Too bad. Go away. Oh! <laughs> now this one is kind of fun. Um, two sockets in it. That's nice. But the rest is, uh, of course, shit. Uh, apart from four mana stone per head. 4% mana stone pad. It's kind of useful. One more skill point to um, put in. And let's say we make it... Oh, yeah. That's a pretty big difference now. Uh, 27 to 40. Sounds good. Let's put that in. And more vitality. Because we need it. And now uh, I shall reset the monsters and do a little Shank Eldritch run series. Let's see how quick that can go. That's a lot of enemies, but all these have very low life now. Including Kasim, who is uh, dying very much. But yeah, now oh, that's working out nicely. Boom, there we go. And they are also dying. What did he drop? Nothing. I thought I saw something there. 
like blink up it looked very golden and I just clicked on it and here we have it another very golden item another very golden sword uh, what is that one though was it something like the clansman or something I think we have to identify this to get to the bottom of the matter no soul flay ah yes 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 soul flay is kind of good uh, kind of good for a meaty character who takes this one two-handed and then um, slays some fools but that's not us that's definitely not us and another claimer <laughs> yep they seem to be in uh, high supply So oh, let's see what we found here. Um, nah, pretty mundane. And this one is trash. <laughs> wow, this is so bad. And this one doesn't even have any spells on it. And what did we find now? Mm, nice double steel, but uh, the rest of it is utter shite. And here, elemental skills. Useful, but not to us. And a very bright ring. Snake's ring of radiance. Pretty, but uh, nah, not for us. Wow, there's so many little ones here. <laughs> Fucking annoying. I hope they have pretty low levels so that we get um, lots of experience from them. This just uh, screams. I want to have chain lightning right now. Oh, we found a flamberge. A flamberge would be a nice sword to wield. And today we have a flamberge, uh, and it's shit. And we have a crystal sword, and wow! Wow, look at this! Have you ever seen such sword? I think this one is worth upgrading to um, elite base item, and just to keep around. Ah, large shields also can have free sockets, so let's check it out. Yes, there we go. That's a free socket variant we could use, although large shields are kind of shit. Um, they don't have a very high block chance. On the other hand, maybe a lower block chance is actually something good for us. I'm not quite convinced yet. Yo, Shanky baby, where are you? Ah, there you go. And we should be able to get a level up this round. That's a superior war stuff. That could be worth some uh, monies. Let's pick it up. Oh yes! That one will be worth a load of cash. And there we have it. And we found... Uh, what is it called? Transit Skull? Or... Which one is this? Yeah. So, what are we spending the level up on? Uh, I kind of... Yeah, I'm kind of on the edge between energy and vitality. But I think we go with vitality one more. And maybe in the next level, let's keep it uh, a 2 to 1 ra Yes, 2 to 1 ratio. So, 
the next level up will be in energy and then two times in vitality again and then energy once again and so on. I think that is a pretty good mix now that we have our base stats sorted out. And yes, leveling is going well uh, so far and uh, everything is working out just flawlessly. I put this also into enchant so that, uh, well, the, the biggest advantage of it, um, not considering damage of course, is the attack rating bonus for our mercenary as he will have a pretty tough time hitting these enemies which are higher level than him and that is an imperative for this build. We do need firepower help to uh, get rid of these low life enemies once they are there and hitting them, at least hitting them, even if it doesn't do that much damage, is very important. So the attack rating, very good to have. Anyway, I think this is all for today. We have made really good progress here. This is done. This is almost done. Let's uh, just collect our runes. There we go. And yes, I think... Um, so much for that. So, hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.